If y'all don't believe fam you has money, y'all nuts. But what they choose to do with it is a whole nother story. Fam you can pay whoever they want to pay. They might have to fundraise and move some money around, but it's doable. Just like any other institution. Those words come from Florida rapper Plies. Okay. Y'all know Plies. All right. For some of my OGs out there, you might not know Plies. Hey, uh, hey, ask your youngins about Plies. They know about them songs like Busted Baby and, and other stuff. Uh, uh, ran off on the plug. All these kind of records. Okay. But he has a lot to say about sports and stuff too. Okay. And he's been commenting on HBCU sports quite frequently lately. And so I want to discuss those comments that he made briefly. Okay. And make a wider point that I've made several times. But before we do, okay, before we do that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first. And this is the realest. Most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some. Again, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Put all your people on it. Also, visit our sponsor, the King McNeil Collection, for all of your needs for fraternity gear, sorority gear. All right, they are number one. They are number one in that industry. You understand? Uh, go to kingmcneil.com or download the app. Your first purchase on the app will get you 20% off. Okay. So make sure y'all do that. Also, looking for other sponsors as well, okay? So if you're trying to reach real ones in the black community, particularly, all right, DM me, holler at me. I'm open to sponsors, sponsorship, you feel me? But let's get into it, y'all. I read you that quote from Plies, basically saying, fam, you got the money. They can pay whoever they want to pay, you know what I'm talking about. So I responded to that, and I added Plies. And I respectfully said, are you a booster for fam, you or Bethune Cookman? Okay. Use both of them because he is in Florida. If so, salute, King. If not, please become one and encourage every other Florida rapper to do the same. Okay. We need our rich athletes and entertainers to become boosters at HBCUs. Appreciate you one now i haven't really received a response to that um i was hoping to i don't want to say that that means he's not one uh i would love for any real ones down with fam you or bethune cookman to let us know if you know if these guys uh rappers like plies trick daddy rick ross Luke, you know, Luke has a lot of shit to say. I want to know how these guys boosters, not one-time donors. Fuck that. See, you're a booster. That you're an ongoing, continuous contributor. Okay, your ass is active and, and, and uh, uh, decision-making and everything because money talks. Okay, that's what I want these motherfuckers to be on. I want them to be on that rather than just coming online and saying shit or getting in the, on the podcast and saying shit. Where the money at? Or as the late great gangster Boo said, where the dollars at? Where the dollars at? That's what we talking about. If you going to say, fam, you can pay whoever they want to pay, that's a big motherfucking statement. You saying, fam, you can get Nick Saban if they wanted to? Hmm? You saying, fam, you can get Jim Harbaugh if they wanted to? Or the black e equivalent? Okay, so let's say the old cats wouldn't come to HBCU. Let's, can they can they pay Prime the five million that Colorado is giving them? Because when you say fam, you can pay whoever they want to pay. That means fam, you can pay the same amount of money that an SEC school can pay, that a, a, a Big Twelve team can play, that uh, can pay, that a, a Big Ten school can pay. That's what you're saying. 
And when you say stuff like that, you can't be thinking these things through. Because we ain't got that kind of motherfucking money, man. We ain't got that. How many times I got to go on this bitch and talk about the racial wealth gap? How many times? I got to keep doing it. My, my reach is not there yet. My reach is not there yet. 2023 has been good to me, but my reach is not there yet. Well, people are getting the message. We ain't got it. We ain't got it. Not like that. And fam, you shout out to the real ones down with fam. You they've been showing they ass contributing, stepping up, trying their best. Last time I saw a figure that was released. Okay. Last time I saw a figure that was released. And this is actually from five hours ago. All right. Fam, you was up to $106,077.20 in giving. Okay. That's big time. But when you get to talk about the SEC schools and shit like that, like a Texas A&M, like a Alabama, what these folks be doing, that dollar amount right there come from one donor. That's one check from one of these motherfuckers. Come on, man. And that's not to make it seem like we are, we are inferior. We, as a people, have been through shit that these other groups have not. We were literally considered property in this motherfucker, man. From 1619 to 1865, we were literally legally discriminated against in this bitch for another hundred years. We are playing catch up like a motherfucker. And this ain't no uh, uh, couple feet head star shit. Come on, man. So I want these motherfucking rappers, these hoopers, these football players, these actors, these actresses, any black person that's goddamn getting money. If y'all got something to say about what HBCUs are doing for real, for real, we want your money to talk. We want you to actively get involved and be boosters, not just one-time donors. And that's good, that's good, that's good. But we need more than that. Let the white brothers and sisters that want to, you know, have a feel-good moment be one-time donors. Let them do that. We need your ass to be continued boosters. We want your time. We want your presence. We want your uh, advice. Because you're in that world. You're in these rooms with these motherfuckers that got money. You know what I'm talking about? From other cultures. You're in those rooms. That was part of Deion Sanders' appeal. He's a celebrity. He was in the rooms with folks. He can bring in an Under Armour CEO because he was cool with the motherfucker. You know what I'm talking about? He can get Walmart to do some things because he got a business relationship with him. You know what I'm talking about? That's what we want. You know what I'm talking about? So we want Jay-Z to be a booster for whichever goddamn HBCU he wants to fuck with. We want that. I know Nas has ties to Mississippi. Okay? Pick one, Nas. Jack State, Mississippi Valley, Alcorn. Pick two glue. It don't matter what the size is. Just pick one and say, this one mine right here. And y'all go at each other. Go at each other to see who going to uh, uh, outdo the other ones in terms of giving. That's what the white boys do. They treat these universities like their franchises. This shit fantasy football for them. So with that disposable money, shit, some of it just be going to that. But too many times, our motherfuckers who don't have as much as them, see, let's not think that everything white is right. They ain't just doing right here. They blow their money on cocaine and, and liquor and, and prostitutes and shit, too. They do that. But they got way more money than Plies. They got way more money than Jay-Z. Phil Knight might want to kill himself if he woke up with Jay-Z money. Because he was like, what the fuck happened to all my money? You feel me? Let me give you, let me give you what Phil Knight's net worth is. Now, and I mentioned him because he's one of, one of, if not the, primary booster 
for uh uh Oregon. Okay. This motherfucker's net worth is 42.9 billion dollars. 42.9 billion dollars. That's his net worth. You want to know what Michael Jordan's net worth is? The motherfucker that really made his company what it is today, all right? The greatest basketball player of all time, $3 billion. You know what I'm saying? So, Phil Knight can do the fuck shit. He, let's say, I don't know if Phil Knight got a gambling problem, but he could have a gambling problem just like Michael Jordan has, okay? Blow money fast gambling, but he got so much more money than Mike that he can still choose to just write gigantic checks to Oregon like it ain't nothing. Our black celebrities and shit can't do that, but they be popping around here like they can. So I would ask them, y'all got it. Can you please be more disciplined and help us? Help us. Shit. Don't just talk about us. Don't just comment on us. Motherfucking help us, bro. Help us retain coaches like Willis Simmons. From my Jack State Tigers, help us retain coaches like Tamika Reed. Help us retain Mo Williams, who did make money in the NBA, okay? But I'm not sure what Mo's net worth is. You know what I'm talking about? Like Mo had all these national endorsements and all that kind of shit like that, okay? I say that to say I'm sure Mo is a millionaire, but I don't know how many M's up he is. I don't know, okay? But I know when it comes to Tamika Reed, that queen doesn't have generational wealth already, so we would need to fucking pay her to keep her. Help us. Help us. Don't just tweet about us. Drop some money. Be some boosters. Give us some game. Or just be on the sideline talking about what we ain't doing right and what or uh, uh, what they do with it is a whole nother story. Like, see, even in that statement, like motherfucker, are they slick doing some funny business with the money? Come on, man. Get in the room and see what they doing then. We want you. Because at the end of the day, whether you're an athlete, it was us in those gyms with your motherfucking ass first. It was us uh, uh, at those fields, those little league fields, cheering your motherfucking ass on first. You know what I'm saying? If you a singer or a rapper, it was us in those concerts uh, uh, and holding the walls with your motherfucking ass first. Them little hood venues. That was us in there with your ass first. It was us getting your motherfucking mixtapes and shit. It was us first before you crossed over. The white world didn't know shit about your motherfucking ass until we goddamn made you hot. We did that. The black consumers, we did that. And these HBCUs are our black institutions. Okay? These are little mini Wakandas around this bitch. At least they can be. With your help, they can be. So please, and it's not just at Plies, okay? His comments inspired this segment, but this is all black people who made it to the money if you're not already heavily invested in the hbcu i don't even give a damn if you went to hbcu if your motherfucking ass went to a pwi still choose one hbcu and say i got I, yeah i went here but i also support here hey i went to southern miss and jack state but when it comes to my advocacy i'm gonna advocate for jack state Southern Miss gonna be all right my state government ain't finna systematically discriminate against the University of Southern Mississippi. They're not. The former governor of the state of uh, Mississippi, Phil Bryant, went to Southern Miss. Famous alum Brett Favre, uh, uh, he in good with the government. Y'all welfare scandal. My PWI gonna be all right. My HBCU might not without real ones like me and you advocating for them actively. So please do that. And again, salute to all those that fam you who are raising that money. Salute to you for utilizing group, group economics 
and giving what you can. Giving what you can. Some of us got it and don't give. That is true. But there are many of us who give when we ain't even supposed to be giving. Because we ain't got it like that. You are the ones who are truly a blessing. And then there are some of us who want to give and want to give more. But you just ain't got it to give. May God bless you in this upcoming year and years to come. So you can attain what you want. So you can give back as much as you would like to. Again, I salute all of you who are trying to retain Coach Simmons. Damn good job. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.